Tina. I purchased a hex clad, hex clad pan from Amazon. Um, this is going to be the 14 inch uh, saute slash fry pan. Um, so it says to make sure that you wash it to make sure that it's clean both inside and out. So that's what I'm going to do now. It says that you can use um, a steel wool pan, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use my just basic sponge. So you're just going to clean all around on the inside. Make sure that you're getting all the dust off from the manufacturer. I'm going to wash inside and out simply because, again, from the manufacturer, you want to make sure that there's no dust or particles on it. And then I'm going to rinse it. I'm going to make sure that it's completely dry, both inside and out. Uh, we are going to season the pan. Um, I've looked at the Amazon reviews. I've checked Hex Clan's website as well as YouTube. And everybody says the same thing, that you want to season your pan by using... Um, you can use vegetable oil. You can use canola oil. You can use coconut oil. So what you want to do is you want to heat the pan up first for two to three minutes with nothing in it on the stove. And then you're going to add your oil and then you're going to rub it all on the inside of the pan not the outside now it says to do it under a medium heat so i'm going to do it at a setting of four um it also calls for two teaspoons of oil i'm not a professional chef by any means um i've been cooking at home now for 20 plus years I've owned a lot of pans, to be honest with you. I've owned Rachel Ray, I've owned Wolfgang Puck, uh, Emerald pans, even the Calphalon pans, the Premier pans that are newer. I've used those quite a bit, but because of the amount of cooking that I do at a time, I'm finding that over time, the pans are not level anymore and they're very wobbly. Um, so I'm hoping this one will not be that way. Okay, everyone, we are gonna season the pan. Again, it's still under a medium heat. I'm adding my two teaspoons of my oil. Now that the pan is really hot, I'm going to go ahead and spread the oil around, making sure that I get around all of the little crevices. Okay, so again, the flame is off. Um, one thing I did want to share with you guys, I did actually, you know, when I posted this on our Facebook group, uh, somebody had said to me that if you order the, the items from Amazon, that it's actually not covered under the hex clad warranty. Um, however, I did get all of the warranty information with hex clad um, in my order. So that is something I'm going to look into because obviously if I do keep it, that is something I'm going to look into to make sure that I do have the full coverage and it is warranted for what they cover. Okay, so see, this is the reason why we wash the pan. And even with washing the pan twice, it still has a little bit of stuff on it. So once I finish this process, before I actually do use it again, I am going to clean it again just to be sure that I don't get any more of that stuff coming off. Okay, so right now our pan is fully seasoned. I've coated everything, including around like the little edges that you see here. I wanna make sure that I get all of those surfaces because if you're cooking, obviously this is also going to cook on the sides as well. So you wanna make sure that you coat everything as much as you can. I am washing it again just to make sure that there's nothing else left on it. Again, just using soap and my sponge. So I purchased this on Amazon for a few reasons. I know that Amazon does have a really good return policy for their Prime members. If you don't like the item for any specific reason, like manufacturer defects or it does not function to the standards that Amazon has or that Hexcled has, you are eligible to return that item. Um, that is the reason why I chose to purchase my first piece from Amazon because I am going to be purchasing them directly from Hexclad. 
Now I can tell you when I initially posted this on our Facebook page, somebody had explained to me that if you order the pan from Amazon versus going through Hexclad, that it doesn't offer that same lifetime warranty. Um, I would probably say that might not be the most accurate information because when I did receive my Hexclad pan, I did receive the full warranty information with the Hexclad pan as well. So it does come with the full warranty information. It came in the Hexclad box. So that is something I'm going to look into. I can call the manufacturer to see if that is something that they will warranty even if I did not purchase it directly through them and I chose to use an outside vendor. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Hey everyone, I am going to make some Parmesan crusted pork chops in my new hex quad pan. We are going to see how this goes. I probably could have let the pan get a little warmer, but that's okay. They'll still cook. And as you can see, the 14-inch pan is quite spacious. This is just your basic seasoning. So I have uh, flour seasoned with some salt and pepper. So I'm taking my pork chops and dipping it in the flour first, and then I'm going to dip it in the egg, which is also seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm then transferring it to my breadcrumb mix, which is panko breadcrumbs mixed with um, more salt and pepper and some Parmesan shredded cheese. Hey everyone, I'm on my last batch of pork chops. As you can see, they are coming out nice and golden brown. Again, I'm just browning them in this hex clamp pan and then I'm going to finish them in the air fryer. That way they're all uniformly the same um, as far as texture on the outside. Uh, fully cooked on the inside. I can tell you that I love the fact that these are cool to the touch. I mean, obviously, if this was a traditional pan, I would not be able to touch these because they would be super hot. But if you can see here over to the left, these are the rest of the pork chops that I've cooked, again, using the Hacks Clad pan. I've used it three times now. This is my third batch. Um, so far, so good. I would say that it is definitely a keeper it is something you can see i'm moving the items around in the in the pan nothing is really sticking um i do think this is a winner i can say that it's definitely worth the high price that i paid for it i'm not going to lie it was super pricey um but it's definitely it's definitely worth it i think it, with it being the larger pan for me it works because again i do cook on a large scale because I do meal prep, so typically I'm only cooking once a month. Um, my cooking schedule was for a few weeks from now. However, I did have a few people ask me if I could bump that up by a couple of weeks because there was high interest to see what I thought of the pan. Um, again, guys, this is definitely a winner. Absolutely, hands down, I'm going to be making another purchase. So have a great night, everyone. Thank you.